Well, hi guys, it's that time. It's our Bible teaching snippet of the day. Now look, I know it's 6.30 p.m. in Memphis, Tennessee, but I was not able to get on today and, and record, well, I could record, but I couldn't upload. My internet at my home has been out, and I can't upload a video uh, off of just my regular phone service because it takes like forever and then sometimes it just pops up and says that uh, it didn't post so I did not try to post and uh, today is my day to come out and do my business meetings and different things that have to do with my business but I tell you what I have a teaching prepared that connects yesterday's teaching about what the good news gospel of the kingdom of God is all about and what Jesus taught uh, and I want to stop right here and say this. Um, there's a gentleman that, that posted on my West Tennessee Grace Network that accused me basically of being a heretic, that I was doing false teachings, and that healing wasn't real. And did you know, he's just a little bit too late to tell me that because I know, I know, I've been healed by God three different times when I was just, didn't really believe in healing, guys. I didn't even know healing was real. I just, you know, all right. And and do you know, I've laid hands on over 900 people by now, and those people are not liars. Why would they lie about something like that? So, you know what? When the power of God comes into people's lives, no one can steal that from them. They cannot steal your testimony from you because it's the power of God that brings men to salvation. And now his goodness, which is the power of God, there's a, also a verse about the goodness of God that brings men to repentance or a change of heart toward him. And I can't think of a better way than healing than to bring people to change their mind and change their heart toward our good, good Father, our God, who loves us and Jesus. So anyway, this teaching I have put together, I'm going to do that tomorrow, okay? But what I wanted to do today is I want to tell you a little testimony thing. I was supposed to be in Scotland for two weeks. In fact, I was there from the 1st through the 15th. And when I got home from uh, being in Wichita Falls, Texas, uh, I had some business things I needed to take care of, but honestly, <laughs> my home, my attic flooded from the drain line to my air conditioner, okay? And so I walk in, and I like to say I think Frosty's a snowman, either vomited or died in my living room floor. I had water and sheetrock little specks all over the place. So I, I canceled my trip to Scotland so I could stay home and get some things settled. Uh, this is this is a lot of home damage for me. But watch this. So when I now this is my testimony. I called to cancel this trip, right? And the girl that answered the phone uh, with the airline had probably been through a lot that day. Okay, I'm, I mean I I like to give people the benefit of the doubt. Uh, you know when people. Uh, have problems where their plans are canceled, they're usually in a really bad mood, right? So uh, I, I no doubt that most of her calls are really angry, upset people. And when somebody gets hurt, angry, upset, they are looking for someone to strike out at and mistreat. And so she gets the brunt of a lot of that, and I get that. But I called, and the first thing, you know, I could tell in the tone of her voice and how choppy her voice was she was saying the very minimum to me and just doing what was required of her there was no kindness or anything involved in that and that's okay i'm not upset with her but i knew uh that that she was not happy to have to take yet another disgruntled person okay and so when she gets on the phone and she opens with that uh less than friendly greeting. I said, well, I just want to thank you for being able to take my call today and take care of me. And so I went into telling her why I needed to cancel my trip and that I had never canceled one and I did not know the rules and how that worked out. And I just wanted to know what I could do if there was anything. And she explained to me two or three different options. 
and I told her, I said, well, I, I, I really just need to cancel it because I have no idea, you know, when I'll be able to go and, and if I can reschedule it right away. She said, well, okay, so let's go with your first option. And uh, the, listen, I was so super friendly to this lady that she just completely flipped over yeah, I went, I had a, from my yesterday's teaching, I had a turning point with her, and it was glorious, because she changed her mind and her heart toward me, and she started telling me that she understood that she had had that same problem, even went into telling me what type of fan I needed to buy so that it would cool the house down, because I wasn't able to run the air conditioner, it was 87 degrees in my living room, uh, with all the damage that I had to clean up. So anyway, uh, so so she was so kind and so sweet to me. Then she puts me on hold and she keeps coming back saying, I'm sorry to keep you on hold. The third time I said, baby, it's okay. I'm not upset and you leave me on hold as long as you need to. There's not a problem on my end. She finally came back and she said, I wanted to tell you the reason that I've been gone so long and it took so long is because I was talking to my supervisor because you were so kind to me today that I wanted to do the very best I could for you. And my supervisor, I had the same problem you had with my air conditioner. That's why I knew about the fan to tell you about it. And now my supervisor had the same problem also, and she reduced your fee to half of what it's supposed to be. Now it's complimentary one time, but we are just thankful that you were so nice about everything and we do understand. Guys, look, look, her attitude changed, her day changed, and God blessed me and gave me, it was actually supposed to be $150 for me to cancel my trip. And I only paid $75 because See, I didn't take offense, and I didn't react or re like I was just, rah, rah, rah. oh, you're going to be mean to me, so I'll be mean to you. And I have a right to be mean because I'm having a problem at my house. And no, n stop, stop. No. I responded to her coldness with God's loving kindness, and God blessed me with that by changing her day more than anything. Look, if I had have paid the full $150, guys, I would have been happy. What made me happy and gave me joy is that I changed her day from being a bad customer over and over again to someone who was kind to her. Now, I want to read you a couple of scriptures today. And uh, I want to go to Psalms 103.8. And it says, the Lord shows mercy and compassion and is kind and gracious. He does not become angry quickly. He is slow to anger and he has great love. And guys, I just want to say this. Uh, it says here he's plenteous in the Amplified Bible. It says he has plenty of mercy and loving kindness. And the next scripture is Psalms 22, 23, 6. Surely, without doubt... Only goodness and mercy, unfailing love, shall follow me all the days of my life. When I got off the phone with this young girl, I told my father, I said, thank you that your loving kindness and mercy follows me everywhere I go. And he said, no, Faith, thank you that my loving kindness is in you and you give it to other people and they see the goodness that I have toward them through you. Well, listen, guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to head on back and do a few more things while I'm in town. I love you, and I'll see you tomorrow with the teaching snippet. Bye-bye.